Well, hello. I haven't seen you here. Hello and welcome to a new vlog in which we're visiting the Donkey Sanctuary. E oh! <laughs> First, the most important thing we need to do is check them out. Oh, there's a maze here. <gasps> Closed. Closed. So, honey, no, where are we, we and which we, way is we going? We are on? here and we've got uh -huh. to go that way. So, so that way. <laughs> yeah, the, we are here. The parking yes. is here, which is next to you. Yes. So, this road is the road which you're talking about. That way. Yeah. This that, road is that way. Yes. That road. Yeah. Well, let's go then. Are you sure? Donkeys wait for no one. <laughs> Unfortunately, during weather condition last couple of days, the walk is closed. I believe that's why all the people going there. Shall we go the other way? <laughs> yeah, we can go the other way. But behind us, there is a donkey on the on the hill. You can see it from the space. I don't know how many donkeys they have at the moment, but looks like Ashley is quite popular. And it's at shelter number four. Do you know the donkey Ashley is at shelter number four? No. <laughs> I don't know why Ashley is so special. But there is a sign saying that Ashley is at shelter number four. Why? What so, I don't know. <laughs> should I don't we know. check him out? Yep, yep, we should. <laughs> Obviously, since you're here, you can donate some money or adopt the donkey. But it's worth saying that the Donkey Sanctuary is charity and their aim is to promote welfare of donkeys. They've got a research program and uh, they take donkeys that have been mistreated from all over the world. Oh, I cannot stop touching it. It's yeah. so lovely. See, meet Ashley. Shelter number four. Yeah, it looks like Ashley is the oldest. Bonnie. Ah. Ooh, Timothy. It's like a riddle. Look, meet this orphan who is determined to love life. And it is Ashley. Of course, Ashley is a star here. Oh, look, his life was really sad. He was an orphan. Oh, and his mom died when giving birth. Oh, we need to see him. Let's go and find Ashley. You want to meet Ashley? <laughs> Guys, can you say a few words to the camera? Oh, that's fine. We don't know which one is Ashley and if it's actually here because it's shelter number one. So that's what it says. Natalka, any thoughts about the donkey? Which, uh, which one is Ashley then? I don't Do you know. know any fun facts about donkeys? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Look at this one. This one is more like a horse. Look at this so size, big. in comparison. Yeah. Must be the boss. Can donkey be aggressive? Yes, <laughs> if you piss them off. <laughs> right. Donkey yoga. They are really calm animals. When they parked, they just stay here for a long time. The other one as well. Basically, they are... Oh, oh there is some movement here. Donkeys in the stables, they can be hired for many different occasions and uh, Palm Sundays as well for the church, they usually have appearance. <laughs> and I've also re read that this stables is a licensed wedding venue and you can have a wedding here. With the donkey at yes. the back. <laughs> if you like, if you fancy that. Well, they're Would pooing you... all the time, so I'm not sure if that's... <laughs> Would you fancy a wedding in the stables with the donkeys? Let the me know. Pooing donkey at your wedding video. <laughs> and you can go to the church with your own donkey. <laughs> very romantic. <laughs> At the back of the stable there is a hand washing area equipped with the soap, hot water and the towel. So after you're touching all the donkeys you can wash your hands and you're clear to go. Dirty jeans then. This is fresh from the laundry. Anyway, this is the next shelter where I've read this is for the oldies, so the really old donkeys are in a 
shelters uh, care. And I've just learned that the average lifespan of a donkey in the UK is between 27 and 30 years. However, there was a donkey that lived up to 57 years of age in this sanctuary, which is amazing. Look at the device they have to scratch themselves here. They're like two big brushes next to each other. This is another shelter, this time for blind donkeys. Oh. Sometimes they're born blind and sometimes they're just blind through the injuries, but they've got usually they've got a companion with them So they've got like the besties the best friend that you know can see and they're kind of like Become friends with the with the blind donkeys and apparently we can see their little buddies helping them out There's more inside Yeah and they've got heat lamps as well, so maybe I'll join them because my <laughs> I cannot feel my hands. It's really cold. Do you think they'll let me in? No, I don't heat think my so. Hands. Well, what do you think about those shelters by themselves? They are like well built. They are heated inside, really clean, like obviously really like good, for the donkeys. Good condition, yes. I don't you. like this one. <laughs> Shelter number six. There are some mules here and it looks like no one wants to see the mules because everyone just walking around, passing by. This is not fair. Is it because they're big? They're not as cute as the tiny donkeys. They're less likely to panic in dangerous situations. And they can carry more than donkeys. Well, Welcome. because they're bigger, I guess. And they were popular in uh, the British Army and used in both world wars. They're intelligent and sensitive. Did you have a haircut by a blind donkey? Blind Look donkey. how uneven that is. Oh, why they've got wellies in there? Did you eat your uh, owner? <laughs> <laughs> so, we have visited... Six shelters. Six shelters. Yeah, and we saw uh, how many a donkeys? lot of donkeys. <laughs> I think it was about like... 12 maybe in each yeah something like 12, that 12 15 yeah, in sense. each it depends because there were the young ones the blind old ones, ones blind the party ones party here ones, the first yeah. one so what did you think did you like them yeah i think it's because it's 25 minutes uh, you know from our place mm -hmm. so i think it's a nice day out it is for... and it's free you can just go here you don't have to buy a ticket or anything yeah. free parking are we going inside now yeah i'd like to check the coffee shop for cakes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and a gift shop so obviously we should check the map and see where we're going but we haven't so looks like there's a yard there. Look, there is a area where you can actually learn about the donkeys i can just imagine that normally there's lots of things going on here as there is a video room play area main barn apparently dr svensson was the founder of this donkey sanctuary. Unfortunately, the place is close, but there is a hut here where there's lots of information about it. has it that some donkeys go inside here 25 years ago since then no one hear about them <laughs> do you have that feeling that we're walking in circle yeah. all right so it's not only me i think we here we, we were here before that's the entrance well, how was the we took some wrong turn on some point that'll be fun a couple of weeks ago we were in maze uh, where was the other maze escott park and looks to be honest bigger than this one but we haven't got any problems to find the middle of it and all the, you know, the, the good main spot. And this one, it feels like we walked in here in the last half an hour <laughs> and couldn't find the... Well, here it is. Ah, couldn't finally. find the middle place. Congratulations! Oh, look, there is almost sunset now. That's the donkeys were lost here 25 years ago, still in the maze. I need a cup of tea and a cake. In the maze? No, in the coffee shop. So, after about 10-15 minutes walking around, 
in a circle. When Magda told me a couple of times, I'm sure it's the wrong way because I saw the exit on the other side. I, I, I don't know, I thought we were completely lost. But we made it! We Yay! made it! Ta -da! So there will be more vlogs from us because we're not stuck in the maze forever. <laughs> we're free. We're going to go situation. to the coffee shop because it's quarter past four and they closed half past four. So I think, I don't think we're going to make it for a coffee. Yeah. 15 minutes, see if they serve us. Let's go. Let's go. Ah, that's this way. <laughs> There's a whole history here behind the donkeys around the world and what they're doing for the history. Gift shop is closed already and unfortunately the restaurant is closed as well. So unfortunately Magda is not very happy, the um, restaurant is closed already, we'll probably get some coffee when we're back home, it's about 25 minutes drive, so it's not too far. So, how was it? Hey, that was great I thought, yeah a bit cold but donkeys are really cute and stinky yeah. and there's Doesn't, lots of them. Yeah, 400 something, yeah? No, yeah, I can't remember. I can't remember. Number Either 400 door. or 200, quite a oh, lot of them. Anyway, or... quite a lot of yeah, them. Yeah, lot... it's a cute place. The only disappointment was uh, that we were, because of the maze, we got lost in the maze and we were too late for coffee, for coffee. and cake. So thanks guys for being with us. Uh, we hope you like this short video. And, uh, I hope you like donkeys more now. <laughs> I hope you don't like donkeys. <laughs> Leave the comment below. Thumbs um, up. Thumbs up and see you in another video see you soon bye, bye.